Salutations, my people. My name is Tay Chaplin. You know what it is. ARTV, content creator, AV, God, Social Supreme, and this is Bands with Tay. Now, Bobby Weather is fully in effect. As you can see, I'm cardiganned up. I'm feeling very, very cool. Some people might ask me how I would describe myself. Hmm, let me see. I would describe myself like that mosquito that has sucked too much blood, so it's just cruising. Now, let's talk about something. There are two people that you should not mess with in the world. Number one is Satan. Number two is 50 Cent. 50 Cent does not know how to chill. He does not know how to forgive. I mean, he did forgive Fajo and Jada Kiss. But that was because the real person that he was trying to eat is Ja Rule. And guess what? The beef is not over. No, it's not. Guys, the beef is not over. It's been 20 years since I was like five. I'm, I'm not that young, actually. I'm not that old. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not old, man. I'm 21. You know it is. But seriously, though, like, don't hit me up if you're under 21. Let me start from the beginning. Apparently, um, one time, 50 Cent came to the studio with Ja Rule. Ja Rule wasn't talking to 50 Cent. And then Ja Rule started dissing 50 Cent. And then 50 Cent got signed to Eminem's Shady Records. And then he was just like, all right. It's murder time. He murder. <laughs> like, it was actually bad. It was really bad. Anyway, coming to present day, I just heard from a very reliable source that 50 Cent just bought Murder, Inc. Now, what does this mean? It means that he owns all the rights and publishing to Ja Rule's music. Listen, and this is the craziest thing, and I know 50 Cent is such a savage, but one thing that 50 Cent will put over beef is the moolah. Now, I believe that in the near future, 50 Cent is going to propose, and if not execute a tour between him and Ja Rule. Do you know what that would be? Fire. What? Fire. A tour with Ja Rule giving them, it's murder! And there's like 50 Cent, like, chit, 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 like, to, uh, wait, I'm having hot, no. hot no. flashes. No. It's too much. No. No. <laughs> but listen, man, one thing I will say, is that beef is great, but we should never forget that Ja Rule is a legend. Man, so shout out to Ja Rule, man. Shout out to 50. You guys should come. Come to Bounce with Tay. Jay-Z and Beyonce had a photo shoot. Currently recording and getting ready for their On The Raw 2 tour, which is going to be coming to Nigeria in <laughs> July. Woo! <laughs> you know, that's a bloody lie. <laughs> that's a full <fair> lie. <laughs> like, where would, where, would, where would they go and perform? Do you know, like, do you know, if they were going to go and perform somewhere, do you know where they would perform? Like, they will perform on the mainland. Like, the whole mainland. Like, do you know if Jay-Z and Beyonce are performing? Everybody will go. Um, it would be like royalty. Like, Stampede. anyway, for the lookbook for the tour, which they're probably going to sell, they're taking these pictures that are very, like, Cubana Latin esque, and you know, they don't know like Bonnie and Clyde, like 4.0 thing. First of all, I would like to say that Jay Z has lost weight. You understand? Know no one should ever like come for Jay Z for trying to look sexy. First of all, he's doing like, no, seriously. First of all, he's doing like he's rolling his hair now, you know, has like a little goatee, he's wearing like his sweatpants and everything. Jay Z is doing his thing. You know, Jay Z has never been the, the most stylish guy. But I commend him, and you know, Beyonce was wearing a tongue. So yeah, Beyonce actually looks like um, she has been a, she has been eating a African salad. She's looking very voluptuous. <laughs> <laughs> like Loki, it looks like a blue film. Loki, that's all I'm saying. Now, people are coming for Jay-Z and telling him that why is he doing that? He's letting his cred down. And all I'll say is, my nigga, stand by your woman. Now, something more important, right? So Beyonce is doing all these things. She has, like, her bum out, and she's, like, naked, and her and Jay-Z are, like, embracing on the bed, looking up and being all sensual. And people are just like, man, when Kim K is naked, ain't nobody trying to give her no credit? Man, this is a very hypocritical world. First of all, I would like to apologize to Kim Kardashian on my behalf because I've really insulted her. Yes, you have. Uh, nah, let's not get carried away. Sometimes, you know, just like in passing. 
But Kim Kardashian has, to my knowledge, been a great wife, a great mother to her kids, and a like, very successful businesswoman. If you have a sex date and you can still do all those things, you're a G. You're a G. Shout out to Beyonce, shout out to Kim Kardashian, shout out to strong woman out there. Really appreciate y'all. Rihanna is broken up with her boo, man. Rihanna is the definition of like, I do what I like. I'm not a woman, I'm Rihanna. If you're actually looking for somebody that can hold you down, do you know you should look for? I'm that you should look for Chris Brown. Apparently these New York guys have come back for files and they're saying that, oh no, we're not going to sue him. We basically are just going to report him to a government agency that will basically just arrest him. This is Nigeria, huh? Where the people you are fighting for are fighting you for fighting for them. King Sasa's Lord. Somebody said to me that they want to sue me to court. Uh -huh. I'm so much excited. I'm looking forward to the court proceedings. The irony of this whole thing is that watch the This Is Nigeria video. And everything that they're trying to say and do is in the video. Files, you need to come on the show and talk to us and explain to us how you're dealing with this because you're a lawyer. Have you written any invoice? Let us know. All right, guys, you are tuned into Bands with Tay. This is Music Bands. When we talk about music, talk about things, about music, mainly about music. Unfortunately, we have bad news. I'll go to good news first. Lil Wayne has won. Round of applause for Lil Wayne. He won. Ironically, he's going to get that cash money. <laughs> oh my God. They should pay me for this. So Lil Wayne won the suit against Breadman and Cash Money Records. And he's going to be getting a minimum of $10 million, first of all. And then he's going to be getting all the rights and publishing and stuff for Nicki Minaj and Drake and everybody else on the Young Money. That is a big achievement. Lil Wayne, you fucking deserve it. I miss you. I really hope this invigorates you and puts you in a more positive space. Now to our bad news. Unfortunately for us, the legend Raskimono has passed on. Um, I really hope he rests in peace. His music will live on through us forever. Under pressure we will, under pressure. Under pressure everybody, under pressure. Under pressure black and white, under pressure. We know what Raskin Mona has really done for us in this country. You know, it's one of those ones where when I was young, that was like the only type of music that my parents kind of like allowed me to listen to because it was just, it was rich. It was rich in content. And, you know, listen, for the smokers out there, smoke a J for Raskin Mona, man. You know, I know you're going to be chilling with Bob Marley. You're going to be chilling with Willie Nelson. You know, spreading peace, love, enjoy as usual, dude, man. God bless. So finally, for music bands, YC just dropped the Juice remix. First of all, I didn't know what was coming. Second of all, fire. Now if I wait for you, I gotta wait for everybody. Wait too much juice, you gonna tell your friends about it. Listen, Johnny Lucas on anything. Johnny Lucas and YC did the Juice remix. And to be honest, YC needs to come like more like this. Because this is, this is the vibe that I got from YC when he first came. He had a project and it was called The New Wave. Um, that was fire. That was good. That was a really nice EP. Um, YC, today is just like invite people to the show there. YC, come over to the show. Let's talk. Let's bounce. Let's take some shots. And, you know, let's do some new music. Because I know you have some. You know, I hope it's not just Jordan Lucas. But also, listen, fire. Guys, go listen to that on YouTube. And that has been Music Bounce. Hello, guys. Playlist 4. This is where we create music for a particular mood, situation. And today, we're talking about Shayo Galo. We're talking about those songs that you listen to when you're about to do something stupid. We're talking about those songs that you use to pregame, those songs that you use to get ready and get yourself turned up. Now, number one is Bigiano. Bigiano. Do you know how the song goes? Number two, Zorella, Shayo Shayo. 
Nothing do me because of the shy. Nothing do me because of the shy. Shy, 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 shy. Number three, Black Magic tomorrow. Drop that shit. Look at all this alcohol I'm drinking. I'm not even thinking about tomorrow. Okay, guys, we have come to the last song, and I'm going to just like sing it. When we celebrate, we go pop champagne. We do pop champagne. We do pop champagne. Pop 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 it's Dr. Sid, Don Jazzy, the Banj, Pop Champagne. Shout out to more hits, that's right. Alright, so <laughs> apparently um, here at Aristocrat TV, um, we do not support binge drinking and alcoholism. So we have to give you one song about Shayu that is really not about drinking, but about drinking less. Um, in fact, I'm going to give you two songs. Uh, just so you guys can call me on ours because I know this weekend is going to be lit because of the long ass public holiday, right? So, number one, well, more like number five, right? Is Ice Prince Whiskey, 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 Carry Me Go. Ay, 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 ay. Whiskey, 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 Carry Me Go. Ay, 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 ay. Whiskey, 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 Carry Me Go. Ay, 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 ay. This is actually one of Ice Prince's best songs. Yeah. Yeah. Like the story, everything, the video, I really miss that ice prince. Now, number six is actually swimming pools. Kendrick Lamar. Pull up, drink, headshot, drink. Pull up, drink, drink. headshot, drink, drink. sit down. Frank. Now I done grew around some people living their life in bottles. Granddaddy had the golden flash, backstroke every day in Chicago. All right, guys, that has been Bounce with Tay. Thank you very much. I love y'all. I'm seeing all the love on Instagram. Everything, I really appreciate it. I'm just one mere man, mortal, with very, very beautiful team. So, thank you very much, guys. Um, I might have some surprise for y'all. You're going to have to watch out. Peace.